from your experience in the Navy, um, when you came to Kings Park, I would think a logical uh, would be to work in the power plant. That's where I tried to go. And what happened? They, I ended up going on the wards. I went to uh, Patty O'Rourke's service in Group 4. They sent me to Fred Buzzy's ward. And he, of course, thought I was from town and knew all about the hospital. And he said to me, is these first 12 beds are yours. He says, this fellow over here is dying. He says, when he dies, he says, you call me and he says, I'll show you how to pack the body. And I said, I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> so I, I took the key and went out the, the door and Patty Roke says, what's wrong, son? I said, this guy thinks I'm a an embalmer. I'm getting the hell out of here. I never seen anything like this in my life. He says, come on in, come on in. He said, what did you do before? I said, I worked a little while in the coal mines and I just got out of the service. He said, well, come in. He says, maybe I can find something else for you to do. He says, I'll give you the job of taking the squad of patients and going down in the basement and cleaning out the garbage. So I thought about it for a while. I said, all right, I'll try it. So that worked out pretty well. And after I got used to everything, got used to the sick people and everything else, one building had TB patients in it, mm -hmm. and uh, the other were just elderly. And uh, I finally got used to it, and I decided to go into nurses' training on the GI Bill. And three years later, I graduated. The um. The, the TB ward, that was next to where uh, the round table was, is that right, correct? Right, right. And uh, there's still some remnants of it left. There is, That's right. There are the stairs all the way in the back area. Right. And that it's and then they put group four right almost in front of it when, when right. they built it. So I remember I have a picture of both and of them. Fresh Air Camp, they called it. Fresh Air Camp. They brought them out from uh, Brooklyn and Nassau and wherever. And then I also noticed that there are a lot more pine trees in that area than other areas of the hospital. And little little, little Eddie McElhone told me that way back when uh, they thought pine was like a disinfectant, like pine soil, and it helped freshen air. So that's why they put it next to the TB wards. At least that's what his explanation was. Those two uh, <coughs> pine trees that are in front of Group 4. Yeah. I planted them there when they were just about three or four foot tall. And... Uh, they grew up. Why did you plant them? Well, they, we had live trees in those days, and I just I That's didn't want to. I didn't want to see them to go to waste. Okay. Oh, oh, also, oh Christmas trees from the wars. They were yeah, live right, wars. You didn't right. want to see them go to waste, so you planted them out front. Right. And oh, they're still there now. <laughs> and in the back, I had a flower garden and a vegetable garden. And that's in. And I, in I had the patients work the garden, and then they could use the stuff from it. I know exactly where, where you're talking about. It's around, are you talking about in the back, back? In the back. And where they had like a little extra parking lot there? That's right. Yeah, okay, I know exactly right where you're talking right about. Right there. Oh, that's wonderful.